Hello and welcome to Typo3 training videos with Liquid Light. In this short video I'll be offering a brief introduction to the back end of Typo3. Before I continue it's worth noting that Typo3 is divided into two areas. The back end of the website where you're able to edit content and the front end of the website which is what all of your users will see when visiting your site. In order to access the back end of the website, uh, you must have a username and password which will have been provided to you by your site administrator. Only you and your content contributors are able to access the back end of the website. So as you can see, I've already logged into the back end of the website and for the sake of this demonstration, I'm using the Liquid Light website. Once we're logged in, you can see that the screen is divided into three clear columns. This left-hand column is the Modules panel. The Modules panel lists all of the Content Management System's modules which are for managing the site. As a user, you'll be able to choose different modules for different tasks on the site. This central column is called the Page Tree panel. The Page Tree panel displays a hierarchical tree structure of the site. The Page Tree panel is where you will manage the pages within the site with each item within the tree being a page. To the right hand side we've got the editing panel. The editing panel is where you will edit content and settings within the content management system. This panel will update depending on which module you've selected from the left hand column or which page you've selected from the central column. It's also worth noting that the modules will vary depending on your access privileges. As an administrator account, you will have more features than an editor account. It's also worth noting that the page tree can also show different options depending on your access privileges. A user may see the entire site tree. However, they may only see a small section of the site structure if their account is restricted. So that's a super quick introduction to the panels that we have available to us. Now let's look a little bit more closely at the modules panel. There's a few things in the module panel which I'm not going to worry about today as there's three main sections which most content editors will use regularly. The first of these is page view mode. When we've selected page view mode we see our hierarchical page tree list and when we select a page it allows us to see the elements on the page using the Typo3 page builder tool. As you can see these are laid out with boxes and text, images and catalogues etc. And this is essentially what the page view mode allows us to do. The next option is the list view mode and the list view mode changes the view of the page that we're looking at into a list. This can be quite easy for quickly viewing the items that are on a page but when it comes to editing content we tend to prefer to use page view. The list view does have some other uses but I'll be covering that in more detail in a different video. The next most regularly used uh, section of the module menu is the file manager. The file manager is where all images and documents can live within the website. It's the central storage location for anything that is used within the site that is a file such as an image or a document. Within here you can create your own folders to better organize your resources and there are plenty of other ways in which you can access the file manager from within a page. So for now that's all I'll say. Moving on then, the next panel I'll discuss in slightly more detail is the page tree panel. This central panel is the backbone when it comes to editing content within Typo3. It's a hierarchical list of the pages which appear in the site. These are nested within their parent pages so that you can see at any one time whereabouts in the site structure a page sits. And as you can see here, these sections can be easily collapsed for ease of viewing or expanded as and when you need them. 
If you want to edit a page on the site, simply locate it within the page tree and click on it. Because we're in page view mode from the modules panel and we've selected the about page from the page tree panel, you can see here that the content within the editing panel is laid out in a similar structure to what it appears on the front end of the website. Here you can see we have two columns and here you can see one column. Also within the page tree panel is a resources folder. The resources folder is used for any catalog based items the site may use, but again, that's probably for another video. So the final section for this video is the page editing panel. This panel has been touched on briefly already whilst discussing the other sections, uh, but I'll cover it quickly now and I'll be doing a more in-depth video shortly to talk about the different elements within the page editing panel. So the page editing panel uh, displays different information depending on where you are. Currently we're looking at the home page in page view mode which shows us a layout specific sort of version of the uh, home page of the Liquid Light website. If I were to jump across into list view mode, but stay on the home page, now the editing panel has updated to provide me with a list of the content blocks which appear on the home page, but with no sort of layout attached to them. If from the module menu, I choose to go into the file manager, then you will see that the page tree uh, panel has now updated to show the files within the file manager and the editing pane is now a selection of those folders and their contents. So most of the time as a content editor you're going to be looking at being in page view mode, selecting the page you wish to edit, and then in the editing panel, you'll be able to locate the specific content block that you want to edit. And then edit it. Now that's as far as I'm going to go in this video, because this is a whole separate video just talking about editing and updating text and images.